In the last episode of InsideTheHype.tv, we learned that in 1987, researchers described for the first time that Apes serrana, the Asian honeybees, are capable to defend themselves against varroa mite using grooming and removal of infested brood cells' hygienic behavior. After thousands of years battling this mite, evolution by natural selection selected genetic traits in the Asian honeybees and researchers kept digging to find more information about it to perhaps help the European honeybee throughout breeding programs. After more research, few people could imagine what else Ape Serana, the Asian honeybee, were capable of doing to fight varroa mites. In 1990, researchers working in Thailand published a scientific article showing the results of a series of interesting experiments. Observation in a field suggested that varroa mite infestation in Ape Serana honeybees were quite different than Apes mellifera, the European honeybees. Researchers observed that varroa mite were rarely found inside worker cells of Ape Serana, the Asian honeybees. The great majority of infested cells were drone cells, the male honeybee. That's not the case of Apes mellifera where worker bees are also heavily infested even though varroa mites show some preference for drone cells. If the observations are correct, it will be very interesting for beekeepers to know what is happening inside the hive that makes varroa mites not able to infect workers' honeybee cells. To confirm the observations, researchers artificially infested worker and drone brood cells containing 50 instar larvae with female varroa mites, and the conditions of the cells were recorded daily. In the first round of experiments, live varroa mites were placed into worker and drone cells, and in a second round of experiment, dead varroa mites were used instead. The results confirmed previous observations from other researchers, as we saw in the video number 2 of this video series. Ape serana is highly efficient to remove varroa mite infested worker cells. After 6 days of infestation, almost 99% of the artificially infested cells were removed by Ape serana, compared with only 12.5% of the controls. Here is a surprising result. Interestingly, similar results was obtained using dead varroa infestation as well where 91.9% .9 of the artificially infested cells were removed in about 5 days. These results strongly indicate that just the presence of varroa mite is enough to trigger the hygienic behavior. And this might be one of the main reasons why Ape serana tolerate varroa mite infestation so well. However, the same is not true in Ape serana drone cells infestation where they found that only 25% of the cells that were artificially infested were removed compared with around 50% of the controls. Ape serana remove infested worker cells very efficiently, but the same is not true with drone cells. And also, this behavior seems to be independent of an active varroa mite parasitism because dead varroa mite inside the cells also trigger the hygienic behavior. What triggers the behavior? Mite smells? If so, why doesn't the infestation in drone cells trigger the hygienic behavior? In a third experiment, researchers freeze both workers and drone cells to compare the differences in hygienic behavior without the presence of varroa mite. Surprisingly, Ape serana honeybee remove all dead worker brood cells in about 24 hours after freezing and only 34% of the drone brood in 16 days of observation showing that independently of an active varroa infestation or the single presence of the mite, Ape serana are very efficient to remove damaged worker bees, but the same is not true for drone brood cells. Why do Ape serana not remove damaged drone cells at the same rate as damaged worker cells? The authors suggested Ape serana worker bees might have difficulties to open the walls of drone cells as an explanation for the results observed. My personal opinion is that hygienic behavior toward drone cells might be limited also as the consequences of natural selection. It might be disadvantageous for the overall reproduction successful rate of these bees in nature. And therefore, Ape serana that were able to remove drone cells in the same rate in the past were eliminated by natural selection. I am speculating here and I would love to know what your thoughts are. 
What do you think is happening? Please let me know in the comment section. In this video series, we are looking at the historical aspect of varroa mite resistant honeybee programs. It is my goal here to show you several key research articles that led us where we are today in our understanding on varroa mite biology and honeybee genetic traits for breeding programs. I'm Dr. Umberto Boncristiani and I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you see value. Ape serana, the Asian honeybee, has already developed several physiological and behavioral traits to obstruct the reproduction success of varroa mites. We learned from video 1 that breeders in the past didn't know what traits to look at in their breeding programs to select varroa resistant honeybees. In video number 2, we learned that Asian honeybees has already traits related with varroa resistance selected that could be useful to help the European honeybees. For example, grooming, where bees are able to find and remove varroa mites from adult bees and hygienic behavior, where infested brood are removed from the nest. What else does Ape Serana have to teach us about mite control? If you're a Patreon of mine, you already know. And if you're not, you can wait watching this video right here. It's great to have you here. Thanks for watching. Inside the Hive.tv, the show about bees. See you guys next week.